So the Bible says that, Proverbs 22 verse 6 says, train up a child in the way he should go. When he's old, he will not depart from it. But the best way to train somebody is by example. Example. So if you are a parent here, let me tell you something. The best way to train your child is by example. Example is a better teacher than theory. Matthew 5.19, he says, Whosoever shall break one of the least of these commandments and do them, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, he shall be called the greatest. So even in teaching, there are great teachers and they are least teachers. But what makes the difference is that great teachers, what they are teaching is their lifestyle. It's not something that's theory. They know what they are talking about because they practice it. So this man's mother, Lemuel, the Bible says, of course, he taught this guy the word of God. And he grew to be a king. And I told you, once you are born again and you know Jesus, the Bible says you are kings. You are a chosen generation. First Peter chapter 2 verse 8. A royal priesthood. Royal means a king and a priest. A holy nation. Amen. A peculiar people. The counterpart of that verse is the first verse I read. Exodus chapter 19 verse 4. It's the same thing. And it is repeated here in the New Testament. To show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. So his mother said to him, don't drink wine. Don't drink akweteshi. Don't drink ogogolo. Don't drink and say it is giving you blood. Then go and drink blood tonic. That gives blood faster. Why? He said it is the effect of the drink. He said the effect is that you will forget the way of God. In other words, what makes you a king or gives you power as a Christian is the word of God. So his mother said, without the word, you lose power. So anything that takes away the word of God from you, he said to Limwell, he said, watch it. Because the word of God is the source of your power. So let me tell you something tonight. The reason why kings don't drink is that anything that will make you forget God's word and not do God's word is draining you of your power. It is the source of your power. That is why every Christian must have the word of God because it is that word that gives you the power to become the king that God made you to be. Oh, Ecclesiastes 8.4 says, where the word of the king is, there is power. Power. So let me tell you something. If God made us kings, let's remember that the difference between yourself and the president is that the president's words have power. And your words have no power. If you say there is curfew, people will beat you. They will, take, they will lock you up at the mental institution. They say you have mental problems. But if the president says there is curfew, there will be curfew. So it is his word that has the power. And the power of a Christian that makes him a king is the word of God. In, in uh, Hebrews 4.12, the Bible says, the word of God. It's quick. It means alive. It's living. There are, there are spirits behind it. That's why it's living. And powerful. 
and sharper than any tool a saw, piercing even asunder of the soul and of the spirit. The Bible says that God's word is the container of God's power. And this power can touch the spirit of a man. That's why people become born again when you preach. I once preached some guy, some woman who was asleep. She was a drunker as soon as she came in. Somebody invited her. She drank heavily before she came into the service because she said the person was disturbing her. So she drank heavily. So when she's sitting down, she will sleep. Uh, when they close, they will just go home. So she drank heavily. She was sitting down. As soon as she sat down, she closed her eyes. She didn't hear anything. In the middle of my sermon, you see, your ear may not hear, but the God is so powerful, your spirit will be hearing, although your ear doesn't hear. The power of God entered the spirit. Someone who is asleep, suddenly she woke up and started shouting. She rushed to the front and gave her life to Christ. Somebody who didn't hear the sermon. And she gave, she gave this testimony. He said, I didn't hear anything. All I, re- I realized that I was shouting. And I rushed to the front and gave my life to Christ. That's what Bible says. It can pierce pito and touch your spirit. <laughs> Put your hands together for Jesus. It can pierce pito. Ow. And touch your spirit. <laughs> Not only your spirit. He said, it can also touch your soul. That's why sometimes you see your soul, your, like your emotions is part of your soul. That's why sometimes maybe you can have some pain, but you go for a meeting. The word of God is preached before you realize the pain and the anger and the bitterness, everything disappears. Not only that, it said joints and marrow. Joints and marrow is talking about your body, the flesh. When you are sick, it has that power to touch you. Like the testimony I read, the guy has been healed from three things. Hepatitis, HIV, and sickling positive. All at the same time. The sickling was the bonus. He came for hepatitis and HIV. And God said, let me add the sickling on top. So it became three in one. May you receive a three in one breakthrough before you leave here. So, Powerful. So, Lima's mother said to him, the source of your power is the word of God. Don't give up. In, in, in Bishop's book, The Art of Leadership, he says, don't give up the source of your power. So, if you are here, you don't read the word of God, you are losing power. You are discharging. So his mother said, remember that the word is the source of your power. That is why every morning you must have your quiet time. When you have your quiet time, you are charging your batteries. When you read your Bible, you are charging your batteries. When you read the Macarius, you know Macarius? Macarius is a set of books that Bishop wrote. Is it 32 books that are in Macarius? 40 books. Set of 40 books. I have one in my, in, in my office now. When you read the Macarius, you are charging your batteries because it contains the word of God. And with that power inside you, you become bold, confident, full of faith. You pray with power. Why? Because there is a power inside you and that power is the word of God. So the, he said, always remember that kids have to have high levels of the word of God inside them. That's why they shouldn't read. Otherwise, they will not even read the word or they will, even, they will not even remember. 